Bud Lowell, CNC News. New York State Senator Jim Alisi told an interviewer Wednesday night that he will not seek re-election. The 64-year-old East Side Republican told Liz Benjamin of the cable TV program Capitol Tonight that he is retiring from the 55th district seat rather than put Monroe County Republicans through what promised to be a bruising primary. Republican Assemblyman Sean Hanna and Democrat Ted O'Brien of Arundaquite, the minority leader of the Monroe County Legislature, will both announce their candidacy for the 55th district this morning. Alisi is an East Rochester native. He was first elected to the New York State Senate in 1996. His support in his own party had suffered over the past year after he became one of only four Republican senators to vote in favor of New York's Marriage Equality Act, saying, I swore with my hand on the Bible to uphold the Constitution. I did not swear with my hand on the Constitution to uphold the Bible. That vote helped open the way to legalize gay marriage in New York. Alisi also filed a controversial lawsuit against the owners of a parent and home last year. Alisi illegally entered the unfinished home in 2008, claiming he believed it was for sale and wanted a look. He broke his leg while climbing a ladder. The owners and the builder decided not to press charges for trespassing, but Alisi filed suit against them the day the statute of limitations was set to expire three years later, alleging the construction site was unsafe. Elise withdrew the suit after strong criticism from the public and his own Republican Party officials, including Monroe County GOP Chairman Bill Rylick. Senator Elise said during the Capitol Tonight interview that he would step aside for the good of the Republican Party. He also said by not running, he'd be helping Republicans keep their majority in the state Senate. As we said, the 55th District covers much of the east side of Monroe County and part of the city of Rochester. We'll have a full report on this later, and the full daily will be coming along somewhat later today to allow us to work this news in. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.